Agency. Properly speaking, agency relates to commercial or business transaction, i.e., seizures, bankruptcies, etc. BLD, 4th ed. P.84, Paragraph 2. Agency of the United States. A department, division, or ADMINISTRATION within the federal government. Black's Law Dictionary, 6th ed. Page 63. Federal Governor. The system of government administrated in a nation formed by the Union or Confederation of several independent states, const. Art. 6. Clause. 1. Greater than Lat. Fodorus. And, a league or compact between two or more states to become united under one central, general, government. See Federation, Black's Law Dictionary, ed. 6, page 61011. Federation. A joining together of, nations in a league or association. An unincorporated association of persons for a common purpose, Black's Law Dictionary, 6th ed. Page 614. Association. Unincorporated association. A confederation of individuals, which is not chartered as a corporation. A voluntary confederacy, Black's Law Dictionary, 4th and 6th eds. The previous stated United States of America federal government is the aboriginal, sovereign, preamble, constitutional and legitimate we, the people government, in the family of nations, however, there is an impersonator. Impersonate. In criminal law. To assume the person, character, of another, without his consent or knowledge, in order to deceive others. But while the men slept, greater than general federal government, his enemy, greater than corporate, administrative federal government, came and sowed, greater than artificially construed, tears, greater than those laws that tears of society apart or separates or disunities, amongst the wheat, greater than those who have a divine and lawful right to complete and perfect preamble citizenship of the United States of America and its republican form of government, in the family of nations, and, everything then, went his, the enemy, way, man, thirteen, when, they five, and, and such, and, Counterfeited, Black's Law Dictionary, 4th and 6th Eds. Corporation. An artificial person or legal entity created by or under the authority of the laws of a state, republican, or nation, general. Black's Law Dictionary, 4th Ed., page 408. 28 U.S.C., section 3002, 15, A. United States means, a. A federal corporation, b. An agency, department, commission, board, or other entity of the United States. Federal agency. The Administrative Procedure Act defines the term agency, negatively as being any U.S. governmental authority that does not include Congress, the courts, the government of the District of Columbia, the government of any territory or possession, court-martial, or military authority. 5 U.S.C.A., Section 551, Black's Law Dictionary, 7th ed., page 63. By now the United Nations understands there are two federal United States governments. I. The Free Association of Republican States, 5 U.S.C.S., Sec. 1501, 1. Confederated into a general United States government according to the law of nations, in the family of nations, as a trust greater than lat. Fides or Fodorus op. To let. Feda or Fodair. 2. The subordinate and impersonating corporate municipal democratic states. 5 U.S.C.S. Section 1501. 2. Conspired, confederated into administrative United States government, in the United Nations, as a trial, according to the illegal usurpation and impersonation, tribulation and initiation. This federal U.S. government comes from the Latin word Fodair meaning foul, horrible, abominable, greater than beastly, dishonorable or disgraceful. It has been scripturally stated that the anti, I, Christ, shall be mistaken, impersonation, for the Cree, E, street and my heavenly Father, who knows, have in host, and illumination shown I, and that the, Chris, MSH, greater than, sons of God, as well as the, Antichrist, greater than John chapter 2 verse 18, greater than. Antichrists, are groups. And for the conscious, and non-prejudiced citizens of the United States, the Savior's Trinity, in law, is the complete and perfect recovery of the I, legislative, two, judicial and three, executive branches of the general United States government, and the complete and prefect loyalty and allegiance from the administrative Mamluks, 
greater than, mystic Turks, mirror or in lieu of saviors, a, legislative, b, judicial and, c, executive departmental or agency in the general or federal United States government. Lastly, and for more clarity, the following quotes are taken from Monuments of Washington's Patriotism, 1789 pp. 77 and 79. This day the great illustrious Washington, the favorite son of liberty, and deliverer of his, not our, country, entered upon the execution of the office. Magistrate of the United States of America. His Excellency, attended by a committee, not members or representative, of the Senate and House of Representatives, to Federal Hall. Note, United States Constitution, Article 1, Sections 9 and 10, Clause 8 and 1 respectively does not allow for titles of nobility, not even for the King George, as the colonies would have had it. We, the Senate of the United States, congratulate you on the complete organization of the federal government, of 1791, the, your elevation to the office of president, an office, by the powers constitutionally annexed to it, and extremely honorable from the manner in which the appointment, not chosen, selected or elected, is made. The Law Latin, see Black's Law Dictionary, 4th ed., page 1030, term, first magistrate, is dubious and ambiguous, and originally simply meant, O-R-I-G-I-N-A-L, magistrate or number one magistrate, the Honorable George Washington was, a, their highest ranking public civil officer, greater than chief executive officer appointed by the preamble United States Republican form of government, b, elected via the Twelfth Amendment as President of the Federal Corporation United States and, c, the chief magistrate, i.e., the highest ranking civil service official in a government greater than, President of the United States, greater than, the highest, Magistrate Washington's federal creation and powers are annexations and not constitutionally expressed. All civil officers are appointed and all federal, corporate, administrative or municipal, presidents are civil officers greater than number one chief magistrates, and at the same time the CEO of the incorporated U.S. government constitutionally provided for and of a subordinate and enumerated nature. The president, vice president, greater than constitution, art, two, not to be confused with, president and vice, dash, president, provided for in amendment 12, and all civil officers of the United States, shall be removed from office on impeachment. To gain a greater understanding of this previous quote, the United Nations Family of Nations needs to view const. Art. 2. Section 1. Clause 6. In case of the removal of the President, the Vice President, the Congress may by law provide for the case of removal, death, resignation or inability, both of the President and Vice President, declaring what officer, greater than civil service employee, shall then ACT, greater than perform, as President, greater than impeachment of a civil officer, and such officer shall act accordingly, but they haven't, until the disability be removed, or a, art, 2, president shall be elected. The general government of the United States Constitution provides that the highest civil service officer, appointed by, 1, the people of the United States, and, 2, p suedo or quasi-elected via registered voters by the American populace may act, actors greater than not real, temporarily according to the supreme law of the land, and no other. Today this is in complete and perfect violation of the United States Constitution, because all inabilities and disabilities have been removed, and a preamble prior entitled natural born citizen is qualified and able to presume, assume and resume the duties and responsibilities of the constitutional office of the President of, et al., the United States of America Republican form of government, in the family of nations. It is important that the United Nations, Family of Nations additionally understand, overstand that, George Washington was not the President of the United States of America so written in Art. 2 of the U.S. Constitution. The Constitution was ordained and established prior to September 17, 1787 and George Washington became the first magistrate of the Federal Corporation in the USA in 1789. This subordinate and annexed USA management, greater than management greater than government, and administration of a company, see Black's Law Dictionary, was admitted to the Preamble Republican Union February 18, 1791 as a new and entire member, greater than corporation, provided for, in Constitution, Art. 1 Section 1, Clause 2, Sentence 3 Greater than, Providence Plantation. Note, 
as a new and entire member, the federal corporation United States government is not a replacement government as taught by the leading experts. C. E. G. Booklet entitled, Our American Government, page 90, third paragraph, ed. 1993 issued by U.S. Government Printing Office. Plantation. A colony, E. State, greater than colonial states opposed to Republican states. In Article 2 of the United States Constitution it clearly states that only, 1, a natural-born citizen, or, 2, a citizen of the United States that has resided at least 14, 14 years, inter alia, shall be eligible to the office, not executive or administrative office, of president. George Washington again became president in 1787-89, supposedly, and the United States came, supposedly, into existence between 1787-91, a total of four four years, but George Washington could not be a resident of 14 years because the United States of America came into existence around 1787. And even if he were a natural-born citizen he would have to be natural-born 35 years back from 1787-91, greater than 1752-56 respectively. The Federal Convention and Corporation United States of America did not come into existence until 1791, and the United States of America under the United States Constitution was not in existence 35 years back, therefore George Washington was not the president of the preamble and constitutional USA. In the book, Famous First Facts, by Joseph Nathan Cain, page 495 it clearly indicates that the first president born a citizen, not natural born citizen, of the United States, greater than federal corporation, was Martin Van Buren, 1837-41 born 1782, 1782-1787-91st is only 5-9 to nine years and not 14 years. Not one of the federal convention's corporate, administrative or municipal presidents, precedents is or was, exception being Franklin D. Roosevelt, an Article II President of the United States of America. The preamble natural-born representatives and free inhabitant citizens of the United States of America, in the family of nations, appointed George Washington to the executive office of the presidency in 1789. As first magistrate and CEO of the colonial plantation E, states, the United Colonies he assumed, took business control of the corporation, greater than artificial and alien, states of America. Through his and others of the former 12 United Colonies mandator introductory into the Bay, by Electoral College, and House of Burgess, they learned how to construct elections or the selection of a federal corporation president according to Amendment 12, to the United States Constitution, being distinctly and constitutionally different from Constitution, Art. 2, and totally different than the federal administration presidential elections where the chosen political party member picks his own running mate, i.e., his vice president. Simply put, this is completely unconstitutional and fraud. The flag of the United States versus the flag of the U.S. The United Nations are fully aware that all true American citizens are identified by national, a nation's name versus personal, family or land titles, such as bays and L's, descent, a national name passed down, names to answer and apply, greater than to formally request or petition, i.e., declare and proclaim, to the free national constitution of this free national republic of the United States of America. I am depending on the United Nations, family of nations support to get them, greater than the Moors or first Americans, aka, natural born citizens of the United States, back to, greater than to regain, the constitutional fold again, greater than once had, that they, the descendants of the aboriginal free blacks, African American of the United States of America, will learn to love instead of hate, and will live according to love, truth, peace, freedom and justice, supporting our, greater than mine, yours and the prophets, free national constitution of the United States of America. I love my people and I desire unity and mine back to their, greater than the natural born Moorish citizens of the United States, own free national and divine standards because day by day they, greater than Lenny Lenape greater than, we the people, have been, and continue to do so, violating the national and constitutional laws of their, greater than the Moorish ordained and established United States government by claiming names and principles that are unconstitutional. For without a free national name, without a descant flag of our forefathers, there is not a national divine title, greater than deed of the United States government in the family of nations, in which we, blacks, Negro, African Americans, Hispanic, Latino and Asian Americans, i.e., Moors, you, me and him, live. It is clearly stated and should be noted that our American prophet indicated that the Constitution of the United States of America and the United States government thereof, is our free national constitution and republican government. 
and in order to gain, i.e., I regain the title of the government in which we, the first Americans, Lenny Lenape Moores of preamble and posterity descendants, live, we must have, I, a, free national name, that is to say, the free national republic of the United States of America, because there is no free nation now on this earth called Bayland, Island nor Moreland and, two, a descent flag of our, our fathers, in which we, I, a sir, Arthur sir, Arthur self, a few nice, starts, later, duck, and charter. Simply put, in order to regain the preamble and natural born citizenship, the posterity, poster child who was once lost and now know their whereabouts, must present the proper papers, the legitimate national name and the ancestral flag to inherit the land or regain the kingdom, which we are now before this body nations, family of nations, within our original form. The term, flag, simply means an established or perfected emblem or symbol constructed, ordained and n, act, ed by a person or people to basically represent them, or their nation. The second pledge of allegiance of the preamble and natural born citizens of the United States is, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic, not democracy, for which it stands, one nation, one people, we the people opposed to a political party greater than democratic versus republican, indivisible, greater than complete, perfect, whole, full and inseparable greater than anti-party system, with liberty and justice for all. C. E. G. 36 U.S.C. 172. The family of nations should note in the previous quote, the words, under God, are omitted, because the second pledge for preamble citizens did not nor does not include those words. C. 36 U.S.C.S. Section 171. History. Point 1954. Act June 14. Inserted, under God. The word of art terms, under God, and, in God we trust, the Federal Administration's national motto of July 30, 1956, 36 U.S.C.S., Section 186, is not referring to the UNOPPOSABLE force nor the God of small and closed-minded religious people. However, it is both the scriptural and Masonic God of Government, Government, Ordinance and Department of Justice aka Gumer Oz, Uz and Dabar greater than God. The Eye of God, Providence of the Dollar Bill is not in itself negative nor evil, however, it is one-eyed or incomplete, and therefore it is an initiator of pain. The Free Unincorporated Association of the United States of America Republican form of governments, in the family of nations and according to the law of nations, private, national and official flag of the United States was statutorily enacted, adopted June 14, 1777 by our founding forefathers of the United States in Congress assembled, dubiously, called the Continental Congress. C. E. G. 36 U.S.C.S. Section 157. The lawful description of the official flag of the United States is found in 4 U.S.C.S. Chapter 1, Section 1 as follows. The flag of the United States shall be 13 horizontal strips, alternated red and white, and the union, greater than Canton and not Union Jack, of the flag shall be 48 stars, white and blue field. The administrative, federal republic in Central North America, see the World Encyclopedia of Flags by Alfred Zinomirovsky, pub. Hermes House, page 192, aka, A. The American or U.S. flag and, B. Star-Spangled Banner is a mutation of the colonial or, these United Colonies, flag around 1775. It was called the, Grand Union flag, and its canton or union was identical to the English, Union Jack, of 1606-1801. In or about October 1777, approximately four, four months after June 1777, the enactment of our national and official flag of the United States, greater than 4 U.S.C.S., Chapter 1, Section 1, the federal corporation U.S. representatives and overseers of the United Colonies began to officially use, for them, the so-called Betsy Ross design. But, the Congress, passed no resolution adopting it. The colonial corporate United States banner flag from October 1777 to 1794 displayed 15 stripes and 15 stars. The Flag Act of April 4, 1818 officially and permanently allowed only 13 stripes of their national ensign to imitate our national flag's 13 stripes.